guys, believe it or not, this is a part of my birthday prep. Okay, but seriously, don't judge me for this. This is probably like the grossest thing I've ever done in my life. So I don't clean my shower. I, for some reason, like didn't realize that this was something that you needed to do. Like I have never cleaned my shower before. I know that some people do the little squeegee, they squeegee down the, the glass, but I literally did not know that you have to like clean your shower. Otherwise like shit grows. I have like a little seat in my shower. One day I was just kind of looking at the seat and there was like this film of like, I don't even know, like goo or something. And I don't know, there's like dark spots. It's, it's time. I have been putting this off because it just seems like such a large task. I don't want to turn 24 showering in a shower where I don't even know what the fuck is growing in there. So that's your little bit of TMI for today. I literally have, this is vinegar. This is, I don't know what, my mom made it. What else do I have? I also have this. This is like a really intense thing. Where is it? Oh, this is like meant for cars. It's that fucking serious. I have my little COVID mask thing. We're fully fucking equipped for this. I've been mentally preparing for this day for weeks because I mean, it's just like, what is that? That's, oh my God, it's so gross. I can't even justify letting it get this bad. I don't have any excuses. Here's to fucking adulting. This is a part of the birthday prep this year. Fuck my lashes, fuck my nails, fuck my eyebrows. Fuck my haircut or cleaning my bathroom. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I'm 30 minutes in. You guys don't understand. This is genuinely a safety hazard. My shower is a fucking safety hazard. I would not be fucking surprised if I was growing some like deathly fucking virus in this fucking shower. Like, it's unbelievable. Unfucking believable. I don't know how I've been showering in the shower for so long. Disgusting! Three hours later. I'm in K-Town because I got my lashes done when I get my lashes done in K-Town. I went to my favorite bakery because my favorite bakery is in K-Town. It's this Asian bakery. I got the cream bun with red bean. It never gets old. Every time I have this, it's always as good as the first time I had it. It's so hot but it's so fucking cloudy. Like, at least if you're gonna be hot, be sunny. Oh my God, I literally can't stop. I have to go because I have a nail appointment now and it's really far from here. And this is the custard donut. I don't even like donuts, but this bakery, it just does it right. I also treated myself to a latte. I just knew that this and this together was gonna blow my mind. I haven't had a latte in so long because my go-to coffee order right now is cappuccino, but I don't know, I was just kind of feeling a latte today. I get scared of lattes because depending on where you go, I feel like they overdo it with the milk. But when I asked for a cappuccino, she was like, oh, I don't do iced cappuccinos, but do you want the latte? I was like, okay, sure. I was leaning towards the latte anyways, but because I get scared of them fucking up the latte, I never go with the latte because I feel like every time that I stray from what I usually get, it ends up being bad. So I always stick to what I usually get, but it just so happened to work out today. The universe was in my favor. She said, you're feeling a latte and you ordered a cappuccino, I'm gonna give you the latte. I literally need to leave right now. I need to stop. I just need like one more bite of this. Oh. Maybe one more bite. Okay. Okay. I'm done. I don't have any napkins. Oh my god. We are one day out from my birthday. I just waited 30 fucking minutes for this. I mean... She's stunning. She's so pretty. This is the same coffee place I went to in my 
day by day video, Maru Coffee. I originally saw this specific drink on somebody's story and it looked so fucking good. So we went to the other location and I didn't realize that they had two locations. And so I ordered this, but they were like, we only serve that drink at the Beverly Hills location. So I was in the area already this morning. So I was like, I might as well stop by, treat myself. This is the iced brev macchiato. Last time I tried their cream top and honestly, I actually like the cream top better, but this is delicious. Me in Beverly Hills vlogging with my macchiato from a basic LA coffee place. I mean, I was about to go to Community Goods because where I was at earlier was right next to Community Goods. So I was like, okay, I'll just stop by, treat myself to a coffee, whatever. The line was too fucking long. I mean, the line here was just as fucking long, but going to this place is less cringy than going to Community Goods. Anyways, I kind of think somebody wants to take my parking spot. I'm just like sitting here. This is what I was doing deep in LA today. I was getting my birthday gift for myself. I've had my eye on these fucking earrings for months. And finally, I have an excuse. They're so fucking pretty. Actually, do I even want to show you? Maybe I don't want to show you. Anyways, we're going back home. We got more birthday shenanigans to do. I got my 24 balloons. We have to fill them up, etc. Goodbye. I need to take a shower. My hair is like three days no wash. I haven't shaved in like a month. You know what that means. It's an everything shower kind of day. All right, it's time. It's time. Let's catch up a little bit before we really start vibing. It's been so fucking long since I've done one of these, I feel like. I've really been into the artsy vlog, artsy vlog vibe. I also just like haven't had anything to get ready for because I'm, I've just been kind of stuck at home because my cat like almost died and she's in her recovery era right now. So I kind of just feel like I can't leave because I'm scared she's gonna hurt herself again or she just also like is a very needy girl and like always needs company. So I get nervous when I leave my house for too long, which means I can't really like go out and do fun shit because usually when I go out and do fun shit, it's like a two day ordeal. <laughs> It is 2.50, which means I have one fucking hour. Well, I technically have an hour and a half, but that means one hour for makeup, 30 minutes for everything else. Oh my God, what? That's not gonna happen. This always happens to me, but uh, we're just gonna have to make it happen. Okay, what's been going on? Well, it's my birthday today. I made a whole <laughs> reflection video on how I'm feeling about this birthday. So if you're interested, you can watch that. I was up late last night because I really wanted to get this birthday reflection video up today and it wasn't done and it needed multiple more hours before it was done. So I I was up until like two editing and then I just couldn't fucking sleep until like four. And I really didn't want to be tired today because when I'm tired or I haven't feel like I've slept enough, I freak out. It's like a mental thing for me. I need to feel like I've rested enough or slept enough if I want to like function normally. Like I don't function well if I get like less than seven hours of sleep, but you know, sacrifices had to be made and we're still going to enjoy ourselves today. The makeup look that we're going to be doing today is... As per request of one of my friends, she sent me a makeup look that she requested me to do. And so we're gonna do that today. It just so happens that it kind of fits the vibe. I did not end up getting my eyebrows laminated again after I did it before I went to Hawaii because they're still like halfway laminated, but now I'm just kind of like, fuck. I wish I did it. But I wanted to try a thin brow look anyways, but my eyebrows just don't work like that. So the plan is we are going to dinner and then we're gonna pregame and then we're gonna go out. Pretty standard. I really balled out for my birthday last year. So I kind of was like not really feeling like I wanted to ball out this year. It's like every other year for me, I will really go hard on my birthday. I will never not do something for my birthday cause I love birthdays. But this year was like chill birthday vibes. So just dinner, going out, have a little dancey dance. And also there was just so much shit going on in my life last month that I like did not have the emotional capacity or mental capacity to really do an extravagant birthday this year. I'm kind of kind of nervous. I'm not nervous. I just feel a little bit rushed. 
Sorry, that was gross. I have water in my ear and my ear is itchy. Whatever, leave me alone. As usual, I did make a fucking playlist. This is the makeup look we're gonna do. I actually don't even know what it is. <laughs> Let me look. Okay, okay. Yep, cute. I'm gonna adjust the look so that it better matches my outfit, but that is the blueprint. The theme for this year's B-Day is orchids because my fucking earrings, you'll see, but my fucking earrings literally are setting the scene for this whole outfit. It's incredible. Wow, I'm kind of like not lit enough for this music right now. Okay, we're using a new product today. I did a Sephora haul in my birthday vlog. This is the birthday get ready with me. This is obviously the Makeup by Mario contour stick and I am in the shade medium. Ooh. Ooh. I had no doubts that this was gonna eat. And I was really also looking for a contour that was a little bit cooler toned because the one that I've been using for all these years is feels like a little bit more of like a warmer tone and I was just in the mood for a cool tone moment. And I think that's what this is. I like how creamy and blendable she is and natural looking. I've recently been using my beauty blender to apply the Rare Beauty liquid blush. When normally I use a brush, I found that the beauty blender works so much better. Okay, it looks kind of like, I, her eyes are open so I can't really see, but it's kind of giving like white, brown, and a color in the center. The color that she has on her eyes looks more like a green, but I'm gonna do a purple. It's kind of like, like a bit of a sharp line. Okay, yeah, kind of like a cut crease a little bit. You have three options for purple. Okay, not the first one, the middle one. Whoa. That's so good. look fucking weird they just look unfinished okay because literally some of my eyebrows are going down and some of them are going up so i really did not think this through when i decided not to relaminate my eyebrows i don't know they're just not working but whatever we have to move on cute right oh but i have to blow dry my hair okay what I wanted to do with my hair was just straighten it and tuck behind my ears so my earrings can really shine. But I hate the way that makes me look. Like I don't, the, I don't like the way that I look with like no hair in my face. So I don't know about that. I'm gonna try it out. But that's gonna be the vibe. It's a hair down vibe. You guys don't want to listen to me blow dry my hair, so I'll be back once we're done. I pretty much never wear my hair down because I mean I just have so much fucking hair that it's like impossible to make it look the way that I want for the whole time that I need it to look the way that I want. So I always just leave it up. But like today is just giving hair down. I'm also just so tired of putting my hair up because I do it all the time and I'm like, I need to switch it up. What I actually really need is a fucking haircut. And I really tried to get one before my birthday, but the lady that I wanted didn't have any fucking availability, so I'm getting it like next week or something. We have 30 minutes, very doable. I just need to do my hair, put my outfit on, and pack an overnight bag. Cause you best believe I'm not fucking coming back here tonight. Oh my God, I need to calm down. I feel really rushed and I knew that I was gonna feel rushed today. So when I was meditating this morning, I made my intention not just for the meditation, but for the day to be present, take in every moment because this day is gonna be over really quickly. And I wanna enjoy it as much as possible and not get too stressed out about getting to where I need to be because I will get to where I need to be no matter what. My camera's about to die. Oh my God, it's so good. I've had this dress for literally a year, never worn it. 
Because where the fuck am I supposed to wear something like this to? It's like Halloween or birthday. I've had my eye on these fucking earrings for months. And it was the same thing. Like, where do you even wear earrings like this? Oh my god. Like, who? So the hair vision was this. How am I supposed to have my hair in front of my face and also do this, this earring justice? You can't. But I'm much more into this look than the ear tuck. Or I could just fuck the earrings and just let the dress do its thing. No, I can't do that. Are you fucking kidding me? What if I did just put my hair up? How would I do it? Okay, but then why did I do all that fucking work straightening my hair if I was just gonna put my fucking hair up? I just hate the way this looks. And what am I supposed to be doing? Like, tucking my fucking hair behind my ears this whole night? No. Okay, we're gonna have to put my hair up. Fuck! Like, how good is this dress with the hair down? Like, mm. Or I can also just like bring bobby pins and then decide. Cause this is so cute too. I'm just gonna bring bobby pins. I might just like leave my hair down for dinner and then put it up for when we go to the club. That way I get both options, right? <sighs> okay. Thank you for getting ready with me. We're gonna go. We're gonna have a good time. Cheers to growing up. <sighs> I'm fucking out of breath. I had a bunch of shit to say. <sighs> okay, um, eyebrows, hello, eyebrows. Whatever, I will, because, Like, I feel like I should have did. Oh, I would not be so fucking. Um. <laughs>